system, and this is our flagship telecast. So, uh, Peter, welcome to theCUBE. So let's talk about uh, virtualization and uh, your product. You're here to show us some, some hardware. So, so tell us, one, what do you have there in terms of hardware, and tell us about Xiotech as, as you preamble and get the equipment ready. Absolutely, John. Uh, uh, what you're looking at here is, is a data pack, which is the core basis solution of Xiotech's integrated storage solution. And what we're trying to deliver to our end customers is a solution that's resilient and reliable and we deliver a five-year warranty based on that resiliency and reliability. And we expect customers to get a whole lot more life cycle out of it. Um, we've been out in the market right now for a little over three years now with what we call ICE, or integrated or storage element. This is our building block. This is what we're going forward with in the market. Um, it's an outcropping of Seagate, an integrated technology building the disk drives, and in this fashion, we're building disk drives and solid state together into something that will deliver a highly resilient, highly reliable, ultra high performance response time for customers. What is in your hand right there? How much storage uh, are you holding right there? This is 7.2 terabytes of whoa, whoa. physical disk drive. 7.2 terabytes? Yes, 7.2 terabytes. Wow. A and with two of these in a 3U, we can put 14.4 terabytes in that 3U of, if you're familiar with Storage Performance Council, 64,000 SPC1, which is IOP intensive performance which nets out here to about 3,200 or more uh, virtual desktops within 3U. Wow, we got a thousand people who are interested in that product right now. Um, so talk about the different drives that you have there. Basically what we're looking at is we're looking at 10 two and a half inch physical spinning disk drives. So the legacy Winchester disk drive architecture, but this is the latest generation. These are 900 gig, 10,000 RPM, ultra fast, ultra high performing disk drives. And on the right side over here for me, the left side for the viewers, we have 10 200 gig solid state disk drives. So these are the ultra, ultra high performing disk drives. These are the Ferraris that make this car really fast. So solid state is the one on your right, pointed solid state, yep. And the other ones are the normal old school spindling disks with the platters and the reading head. Absolutely. And so at SAP last week, we were on the ground and um, one of the executives at SAP said, solid state is the new RAM, random access memory, disk is the new tape, and tape is dead. Absolutely. You agree with that? Uh, I, I, I think <laughs> you some subscribe of the vendors to that here the stickers that say, <laughs> well, there's, there's Sepaton so, and there's others, but. <laughs> Tape's dead, tape sucks. So, the other, so solid state, how, how fast is that moving? I mean, we've been covering at SiliconANGLE, Fusion IO, it's going public. Um, it's a really rockin' space. Everyone wants solid state. They experience it on their iPhones, on their devices. It's in memory. It's, you're talking about 200 gig right there? Well, it's 200 gig per individual. This is two terabytes total. Two of terabytes solid of solid state. How much do you think that's going to advance quickly? What's your vision on the solid state market? Well, these drives, if we look back three years ago, four years ago, we we're talking in the 36 gig mark. So they're increasing a whole lot more than Moore's Law. Great, so um, what is Ziotech's um, company positioning? Tell us, share with the folks why Ziotech uh, is so important to this cloud revolution um, and some of, the, some of your advances and some of your clients that you work with. Well, even, even beyond this, whether we're talking solid state or not within a data pack, even if the data pack's all physical spindles, no matter what with our ISC technology, we get the same linear performance, whether we're full or empty, so we want our customers to use their, their capacity to their complete fullness. We want them to use 100% of their capacity. And in the cloud, that's what the cloud providers want to do. The cloud providers want to put out their, let's say they're putting out a petabyte. They want to put a petabyte out there, but they want to use, they want their users to pay them to use a petabyte, and they want it to be completely full. So they need to be able to perform and deliver that capacity at the same time. So for those cloud providers, we deliver that to them. We deliver them the performance and the predictability and reliability. What do you enable people to do with your technology? What, what can service providers do? You mentioned Dropbox earlier, um, before we, we, we get on, came on the air. What's some of the use cases that you well, guys enable? You asked what we, what we enable. The biggest thing that we enable, we enable people to think about other things rather than their storage or their performance or what's going on behind the scenes. So whether we're talking about business analytics or whether we're talking about cloud providers where they need to, I keep using the word predictability, but 
they need to predict because everything's a cost equation. It all comes down to a dollar a penny. Every one of our customers we deal with, it comes down to a dollar per gigabyte. The untold story is the performance factor and what goes along there. We deliver that performance with that capacity. So we enable them to do their virtual desktop environment, to do their application streaming, whatever they're doing, with predictable results. We're here with Peter Seeland from Ziotech. Tell me and the folks out there, how has virtualization and the iPad changed the industry? It, it's changed a lot, well, beyond even the iPad, because the iPhone was delivering that before the iPad came out, and then the iPad came out, and everybody else is duplicating it now. What it's delivered is the accessibility of data to people. Um, I, I don't recall, I, I think it's by mid of 2012, they're saying that the end user capacity is going to exceed a lot of the actual business or commercial capacity because I know I know a lot of people who are, well, if we look at Drobo, Drobo was big at, at uh, user conference last week, TechEd, and end users were flocking to that because it's inexpensive and something they can have at home. So they're putting terabytes of storage at home. iPad has given them accessibility to a lot of that, as well as cloud. At uh, SAP last week, we were talking about, uh, everyone's talking about mobility and everything, and obviously big data is a hot trend. Um, we coined a new term called fast data. And what we mean by that is that big data, storing data was an old way of doing things like, oh, it's stored out in some like big disk farm on tape and it comes data warehousing. But now with all the tsunami of data from mobile devices, people want low latency, fast response times. So this whole flash movement, the Ziotech products, you guys are dead center in the middle of what people want. Absolutely. So, so how is that forcing you guys to change? How is that changing entrepreneurs out there? I mean, just think about people who are on like Xbox or as Xbox or these gaming environments become uh, more social and more data is being gathered. I mean, we heard from Simon Crosby who said, uh, Zynga does 3.2 billion rows updates per month. That's massive database work. Tons of database activity. Absolutely. Hadoop is out there. Share with us you're just, I mean, are you, you're in the front lines. Well, how, how it's affected us is exactly what we're doing. Seagate had changed, they saw a need to change the way we're thinking about aggregating disk drives together as opposed to the traditional SAN methodology of just managing them as individual drives. They looked at it with respect to what they could do to improve that capability. And that's what we did with the ICE, is get to a point where we can be predictable, where we can deliver what the end user needs, and that is that response time. I mean, I'm, I'm part of the microwave generation. I don't want something last week, I don't. I, I want it now. Yeah. So, um, it's real that's time. what we're delivering. I mean, and the data's going to be stored real time. Well, we got breaking news here at theCUBE, SiliconANGLE.TV at Century Synergy. Dave Vellante is in the house. Dave Vellante, my co-host, is. Got, got off the plane, he's coming in, he'll be joining us shortly. Uh, we're talking about Ziotech. Ziotech is the kind of company that's under the covers. There's a slew of new internet companies and storage companies and computing companies, technology companies located in Silicon Valley and around the world that are changing our landscape of our lives. It's a social world, we want our data, we're on mobile devices, Ziotech is one of them. Peter, thanks to you for coming on theCUBE, we really appreciate uh, your commentary. And uh, let's show that uh, tech porn one more time because Folks, this is tech pornography if you're into hardware. Thank you, John. That is, that you is good You were talking the data back <laughs> in my iPad, right? Okay. okay, you're out of there. Okay, uh, thanks for coming on. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, sir. Hey, Dave, Dave